a little bit more precise. Well, hold on, honey. All right, y'all. Let's cut this. Okay, we'll see. What's up, family? And welcome to Rolling with the Rutlands. This is episode one. Part one, we're gonna see how this is gonna go. I am in the kitchen and the India is behind the camera. She's supposed to be in the kitchen, but hey, see, this is things just happens, okay? And she's actually doing homework. So I'm in the kitchen cooking, uh, what is this, lunch or dinner? I guess when so. it's time to eat. Mm -hmm. When it's time to eat. So this is what we're in here doing. And we're doing Hello Fresh. This is the onion crunch chicken. Listen, when I get done with this, I'm gonna be a chef. Oh, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. Real simple. Especially guys, if you know if you do a double roll, I don't call this a gender roll because when you're hungry, you gotta eat. Oh, okay. Eat out a lot. So we're just trying something different. So we, this is not a sponsor video. Ain't nothing being sponsored because the show came out of my account. So nothing's being sponsored. But this is um this is us really doing it supposed to do. So they give you all the ingredients. We got sweet potatoes, crispy fried onions, don't get the um, ring light. Monterey Jack cheese, chicken collets, um, honey Dijon dressing, broccoli floret, and sour cream. Mm -hmm. So we have we have everything that we need to get started. All right, so this is what we're gonna do when we're gonna get started. And I wish my wife was like in front of the camera because I'm telling you, we're arguing it together, but it's better when she's you know in here and I can just kind of you know watch. But you know anyway, <laughs> right? That's, that's you know, yeah. Y'all, mm -hmm. those who know, know. Mm -hmm. men. So I, 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 I'm in here doing what needs to be needs to be done. All right. So you have to clean. I don't care who brought you what. You've got to clean your meat. You, you got to clean your meat. Now in this packet they gave me one, two. Oh my God. Three. And the reason they gave me four. It's because I think my wife ordered for a, four. for a set of four. Uh -huh. That's where it's up. No, no, no. You got to put it up. Hey, guys. So I had to jump in real quick. So as you saw, he was taking the chicken out and was about to pour all that chicken juice in the trash. It's okay. That's why I'm here. So we already cleaned off the chicken, made sure there's no salmonella poisoning going on around here. We have the chicken clean. I cleaned with salt and vinegar and water. All right. So the instructions tells us to cut and peel the sweet potatoes, which we've got prepped for you. So Jeremy's gonna come back and do that part. But I'm gonna jump over to the chicken since I got it clean and packed dry. Now it tells us to add salt and pepper. Y'all know we black, right? Okay. So we are gonna add our pepper. And we are gonna add our salt as the instructions tell us. So I got my salt. Just a little bit and I'm trying to get sick around here. And there's four pieces of chicken cutlets in there. Alright. And then I'm gonna add onion powder and garlic powder because why not? Hello, it it calls for it. So one fun fact, I made this onion powder and garlic powder by myself. So all you do is instead of throwing away your onion peels and onions that look it's about to go bad and you're like, okay, well I know I'm not gonna use it yet. Um, just just simply take it if you have yourself a dehydrator um, You can use the dehydrator for probably about eight or ten hours depending on your size and Cut them up peel them clean them then you're gonna spread them out in the dehydrator and then Let it do what it do once it's done. You're gonna need like a spice or a coffee grinder to make it this powdery consistency because you it it will be clumpy so you want to make sure that it's kind of fine last thing i'm gonna do that's not on here i'm adding a little oil because it just helps the seasoning stick to the chicken just a little bit not a lot okay so we've gone off script a little bit from hello first but hello first we still appreciate you but yeah um so i have a it's called the brand is called beautiful not a sponsor um air fryer and most air fryers have the dehydrator button on it so you can just you know do your garlic i think for the garlic for us to get two bottles of this size we did about what four garlic um cloves like the whole like you know out the fresh out the store 
and then for the onion it was probably about three and a half it didn't the onion didn't produce as much as we would like but that's fine it's still made by hand and it's fresh so we have that and we're just gonna let that sit and jeremy's coming back to do the sweet potatoes all right you guys i'm back in the kitchen listen we thank god for help because um i know how to clean chicken but a woman just knows how, it's nothing like a, when a woman clean it it just it just better guys you know we straighten up but we don't we don't know how to not all guys i'm not gonna say all guys but most guys don't know how to clean it so she was funny about her chicken so we had to make sure she does it the right way i'm literally cutting this up um in the best way possible yeah, I think, I think so too. This may be the wrong knife. But anyway, so we're cutting up the sweet potatoes. Um, and I really don't mind cooking. You know, some people are like, I gotta marry a person that they do all the cooking. Well, you're gonna be hungry. <laughs> you, you're gonna be starved to death. So it is a team effort. And that's one thing I love about this is that we decided to order Hello Fresh because first of all, we was eating out a lot. Second of all, you know, my calories are jumping high. I don't know how it's jumping. What? You don't know? Oh, okay. I don't you know, know how what? It, I don't know how it's jumping. So what we're mm. doing is <laughs> we're cutting back because we're saving for a home. And I'm putting it in the atmosphere because so I can keep ourselves accountable. But also, you know, we want to be healthy. And this is this is a healthy meal. And so my wife, she picked the meals on HelloFresh mm -hmm. and it came in, I'm telling you, it was right on time. So we're cutting this up, getting this done. This is gonna be good. So what are you gonna be doing with this? You're it to what? I'm putting it, we're gonna boil, the, boil these sweet potatoes and then we're gonna make a, like a mash, like a mashed sweet potato. Mm -hmm. um, and it's gonna be really, really good. And you need, you need uh, sweet potatoes are just good for you, period. Um, so, but if I was making my candy ends, oh! They're not good for you. Oh, the amount of sugar that goes into candy yams. But it's a it's a favorite. My wife knows. She's people are like, listen, when are you making some more candy yams? But then we're not making candy yams today. We're doing something a little bit more healthy. Alright. Alright, so and it's all chopped up. And remember, we're gonna mash this up, so it really don't matter. Yeah. yeah. You know how small it is because it's gonna be mashed. No, but we just want to get it as small as possible so it won't take as long to boil. Yeah, the instructions says it's 15 to 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. And so, okay. All right. So, I've been cooking sweet potatoes for a long time. So, we're just going to fill it up just so, so we can cover it. And that's all you need for it to just to cover it like that. So we're right on like step one. And yeah, head is two. All right. And these meals are not hard. And that's what I love about HelloFresh. These meals are not hard. They're um, simple. But that's going to boil. And while that's happening. Are we supposed to put anything in the water? No. Yeah, but it's okay. Oh, yeah, I put salt, but here's the thing: they asked for us to put salt, but we have people with dietary needs. Mm -hmm. So we we watching that salt intake. So it's gonna be okay without the salt. And that's the thing: the Hello Fresh. This is a guy, mm -hmm. but you know, in your home, if you have people who you know they can't have salt, they have to have Mr. Dash or people who have dietary needs, they can't have certain things. Make the adjustment, and that's what I love about Hello Fresh. Even. Even if you make those minor adjustments, it's not gonna take away from the taste of the food. All right. All right. So next we have what are we doing next, honey? Um, you gotta put up the broccoli. The broccoli. Okay. The broccoli has already been washed, and because this is a cooking show, we just gonna get another cutting board. Um. <laughs> now, my wife, she will be side eyeing me because yes. she see dishes. Yes. I see getting things done. So this is the th this is the thing about you, see, you gotta know your spouse, right? Mm-hmm. So I already know before, well, I don't have to look up because I already know, um, I already know what she's looking at. Mm -hmm. So, all right, here we go. So we're just gonna cut these like this. That's all we're doing. Literally, that's all we're doing. Probably one more time. 
All right, one more. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Okay, so we're just we're just cutting it like that. You know, just like that. They're gonna just cut it again, mm -hmm. and then that's gonna be that. All right. So we're gonna continue to do that, and then we'll be right and we'll back. be right back. All right, guys. So the sweet potatoes are boiling. The broccoli has been cut up, and it is spread out evenly in a pan. Um, we don't have like a cookie sheet pan. We just have regular, you know, fold up or roasting pan. So it's gonna have to. Be. All right. So now we're on to the chicken. So the chicken has been sitting here seasoned. Um, just sitting off to the side. So remember, we did that with the salt and pepper, and then of course, um, a little, a little onion powder, garlic powder. It won't hurt nobody. I promise. So we have four pieces here, and the instructions tells us to thinly, um, thin layer of reserve dressing. So I've already done it off camera. So the packet I've removed about um, one tablespoon of honey mustard. Dressing, I guess that's what this is. It's honey mustard. And we're gonna just do a thin layer on all the chicken. The top part. It didn't say the whole piece, so I'm assuming it's just the top part. This works out perfectly. What made you choose HelloFresh? I mean, HelloFresh, I tried, we tried before, remember? And I just felt like, you know, I love the fact that everything I need comes with it. I'm not trying to go to the grocery store and spend $200 and come out with maybe three meals. HelloFresh, I spend $150 and we have six meals. And it's for four people, there's three of us in the house. So actually, we got a reserve plate for anybody who wants to take some to lunch or maybe use it for, you know, um, another want to eat it again for dinner um so you know personally and then with this dish we were able to split this dish into two because this is for six people but we only need to serve really three so the other half is reserved for a later date and you can skip payments you don't have to do it every um every week so that's another blessing part, a nice option. But I love everything comes with it, except for maybe the seasons and the pots and the pans. Like that was perfect. Like, and they give you what you need. Like, you know how sometimes you're going like, well, I thought I bought enough to cover because we'd be a little too heavy handed. But they give you what you need if you just follow the directions, okay? So we've done that. Then they tell us to, so I have some Monterey Jack cheese and some onion, um, crumbles so that we just smush them with our hand to get them like a, a breadcrumb and so they tell us to mix the cheese and the breadcrumbs together so that's what we're gonna do again perfect size like everything you need right there oh I don't need the scissors and cheese so there you go and then I do my salmon like this. Um, Jeremy loves my salmon. Um, it is just breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese, and then I melt butter into that, and then I spread it on top of the salmon. And so far, this is pretty similar. So I just mixed up the cheese, the bread, the well, it's not breadcrumbs, it's onion, fried onion pieces. They didn't tell us to add any butter to it. So we're gonna stick to the recipe. Evenly top the cold chicken with the reserved thing. Mound cheese size with fried onion mixture. Pressing to adhere. Okay, so same thing. So I'm just taking a little handful. Make sure it's pretty, you know, mixed in there. I'm gonna take a handful. And this is where it gets a little messy. Because it Looks does good. that with the salmon for me. It gets a little messy. But I see why they use the honey mustard to grab it. So what I do with the salmon is melt the butter. That butter keeps the pieces together. So when you put it on top of the salmon, it doesn't um, come off. But I see the honey mustard in this recipe does that for you. Y'all, I hope this tastes so good. So how hard is it for you to stick <laughs> You in your mind, you like I want to doctor this. Uh, it's hard. It's hard. If you are cooking, now, ladies, come on. 
some ladies they're like i just barely made it you know so i get it but there's some of us that we we just really enjoy cooking obviously i'm a little healthy so i like to eat but um i love cooking i love watching the cooking shows and championships so there's like certain pieces I'm like well if you do this you don't really need that but i'm gonna stick to the recipe the only thing i've done so far that's not like the recipe is that i added onion powder and uh garlic powder i love garlic and in the words of my famous auntie tab the brown that's my business okay so here we go uh-huh I like would say right about now, like so, like that. Uh -huh. But yes, I'm just like Tab. I love me some garlic. I love garlic. I love garlic powder. Look at that. I mean, it made it. It perfectly got all four cutlets. And so now we're going to put that to the side because I think they want us to put the broccoli and this into the oven at the same time for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. All right, what's up, family? So we are back. Um, India has done her part. I'm doing my part. It's a team effort. That's, that's what it is. It's a team effort. Trust me. If you can do it all, you, you could probably do it all. But if you got help, utilize your help, all right? So we're back. Let's check on our potatoes. I'm going to stick a fork in there and see if it's done. Oh, it's almost there. All right. All right. Remember, we have to mash those up. So it is what it is with that, all right? So here we got the broccoli. They told me to drizzle, the instructions told me to drizzle some olive oil. And we don't have a spout, so we gotta, be, we gotta be very careful with this. So I'm gonna just drizzle just a little bit. Is that good, honey? Yeah. Okay. All right, ooh. You see, see, I'm working in the kitchen. Ah! You see, this ain't my ministry. All right, praise God. All right, so here we go. We got the salt. All right. I've always wanted to do this because I've been on the uh, I've been watching the cooking show, and so you just get just a pinch. You don't. You gonna do that up through? Uh, I'm gonna do it just a, a little bit more. Now remember, we're watching the salt because we got people with dietary needs. All right. Now I did have the other one that has the pepper, but that's peppercorn, and I don't have time to grind it. So because you know I'm, I, I don't really work in this kitchen. All right. So I'm just doing what I do. A little pepper. Now I like pepper. That's up to you, but I, I, I like I like a good pepper, all right? All right. Now my hands are clean, so I'm gonna just move this around, but then I'm gonna get into it, right? Don't squish the bottom. I'm not gonna squish it. I'm not gonna squish it. I'm not gonna squish it. I'm, gonna squish it. I'm, gonna squish it. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna just put it on just a little, just a little bit. Just give it a little one two. Mm -hmm. Maybe a three four. <laughs> You know what? Just make sure it's thin again. Okay. It's, it's thin. It's thin. So let me let me wash my hands. I'm just taking the right soap, but I'm just gonna wash my hands. So we get ready to stick these bad boys into the oven. Don't get the dishes in the same time. I'm not. Why would you put the nails bad? All right, so we're ready to put everything in the oven. The oven has been preheated to 350 degrees. Now, to be honest with you, I looked on the instructions. It didn't say what to put it on. Let me make sure. It didn't say what to put it on, but we black, so it's 350. <laughs> everything is 350. Well, some people, some people is 375, but, right. but for me, it's, it's and 350. And it says center rack, so let's see. Do we have, we have a center? I think that's our top rack is centered. Yeah, to the side. Because we might do both of this and the right. Oh, it's bloody. Oh, it's fine. All right. All right, so that's in. And we're going to mash up these potatoes. And we're going to be done. Yes, straight like that. <laughs> well, hey. All right, you guys. So we are draining the sweet potatoes. I know I'm not doing the old school way, but, you know, we're on camera. So we're we going to act like we do this every day. Because I would have just poured it without the strainer. Um, so that's that. They did tell us to keep a half a cup, so that's what we did. Now we're going to mash. Is that what we're going to do, honey? Well, we're going to add the two tablespoons of butter. Oh, two tablespoons of butter. See what I'm saying? That's why you got to have help. And the stove is off. Stove is off, so we're going to add two tablespoons of butter. All right. Lord, my husband is delicious. Oh, yeah, I, I 
Now, one thing about me, oh, I'm gonna create some dishes. <laughs> Man. So, I haven't learned. Listen, I'm telling you right now, I have not learned all that. What do you need? The, don't you need the, the to see the two tables for? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? This is why you need help. So, so okay, all right. So mm, that's one, one two. two. Mm. Oh, okay. See the paper's important. See, mm. see. All right, all right. See, I didn't know. I didn't know. See. We bless God. All right. You want to put this in here? Yes. All right. Now, see, if I was making my candy, I would put put some vanilla. Some nutmeg, some cinnamon, <laughs> some, um, okay. Oh, it okay. says add oh, salt okay. and pepper only, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So. Add some what? Salt and pepper. This is so weird to put salt and pepper in sweet potato. Well, okay. we gonna bless God. Got just a pinch. Just a, just a, 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 a pinch. Very good. All right. And the, um, you want to just use a whisk? I do have a potato masher, but this is not a lot of potatoes to mess that up. So okay, I'm gonna do a little bit because I'm not. I'm not working. Y'all ain't no telling we might come back and dot these mashed potatoes up, but for the sake of the show. Do a whisk. Yeah, go in the other cabinet. No, the one to your right hand. Okay. Get the metal whisk. It may take a little, right. a little pressure, but. The I'll, pressure. I don't care how many times people. Let me tell you something. I don't care how many times people clean, cook, whatever. This is the third. When you take stuff out the drawer, please wash it. <laughs> I, 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 it's in me. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is this is coming together. All right. The stove is off, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is where they were saying reserve water to come into place. To give it a more smoother texture, I personally would just, just use some, some milk. milk. Yeah, um, we got dietary needs. Yeah, so go ahead and use the water. Can we get the milk? Honey, <coughs> you said we want to stick to the recipe. Okay, we got to stick to the. I'm telling you, it's hard to stick to the recipe. When you've been cooking some, when you've been just cooking a for, little bit. When you've been cooking one way for so long. Okay, okay, let's try. Let me see. Because what we don't want is watering down food. Here, listen. This right. mess going to stick to you. Alright. Okay, that's good. Mm, that's good. Yeah. Alright. All right. All right. We'll be back. We'll be back. So the chicken and the broccoli is in the oven 15 to 20 minutes. We're just going to set this to the side and put the lid on it. And yep. we'll be back when we're ready. We will be back. Alright. Alright, you guys. We're back. I'm getting everything out. Chicken, I need to test it early because you know your chicken got to be done. Hey guys, so I told you earlier, my husband is good for making dishes and not cleaning them. I can't do it, it's not my style. Because once you eat, think about it, you got then those dishes to go clean. So for me, I rather clean as I go, which sometimes take a little bit longer. But that's how I prefer it. Um, but obviously today it was a little different. I had company. So clean it all up. Before I get my good bite, because when I get my good bite, then you know I might end up having to take a little nap. Okay. Well, we don't even know how we do. So it's good to get some of that stuff on out of the way. So then when you wait from your nap, the only thing you still got left to do is I clean your plate from your food. Hallelujah. Give him the glory. So I'm just putting this stuff into the washer. I already washed it by hand. Something about just that good heat in your hand and the soap and a little bit of bleach on the towel to just let you know that everything is secure. We do use our washer and dryer, but sometimes it's just therapeutic to not use it. All right, so Jeremy's taking the food out of the oven and I've been tasked to taste. So we're gonna go ahead and plate this up real quick. I think I just saw me use like two towels, sorry. Um, got my plate, my fork, and let's do it. So the broccoli kind of shriveled up from the roasting, which I kind of expected, so. 
remember this is supposed to have been a portion size for about two people. Um, but really we're going to kind of stretch it to three. So you have your roasted broccoli. And it really does. I mean, if we eat proper portions, it, it gets what you need. And then I'm going to just get the chicken. Well, I'll do the sweet potato. So one thing we did off camera, we forgot. It was in the instructions. There was a case of sour cream mm -hmm. um, that was supposed to go in here. So again, y'all, we're we, we going to stick to what they say, okay? <laughs> I ain't never heard of sour cream in the sweet potato like this. But that's what we doing because we want to stick to what the rest of his say. I did splash a little cinnamon in there though. Okay, nobody. All right, and uh, I'm gonna get this one. It looks good. It does. So that's the plate. Sorry for the pip towel. And let's give it a taste. All right. Lord, we bless this food. Amen. How did he eat? So, I'm going for the chicken first. And that honey mustard is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Because <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong with this chicken? But, it does good, y'all. It's good, different. I like mixing my food up sometimes, y'all. I mean, if you ask me, it's a 10 out of 10. Now, I just realized there was some leftover um, honey mustard. So I'm going to read real quick. So, excuse me. No, it's just left over. I guess um, maybe it's for the other half. Or you can put it on. I'm going to put it on my chicken. So, just a little extra rise dazzle. Um, like that. Like so, like that. But yeah, no, for real. Like, um, it, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good recipe. Um, did for overall, hello fresh. You did not disappoint. I like it. So, you want to try it? Yeah, I'm going to try it. All right. I'm gonna try it, see what it tastes like, cause y'all know I'm gonna tell the truth. The whole truth, so help me God. Not that she didn't tell the truth, but you know, I'm, I'm very direct. I'm gonna give, it, give the people what Listen, it. very brutal, not direct, brutal. Hmm. Okay, hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you supposed to taste her, you eating off my plate. You know what? See, this is what I'm talking about, y'all. The mashed potatoes is a little... Sweet potato. It's a little different. Chicken is given what God told us to give. So, that's it, you guys. I mean, but can you really mess up chicken? Oh, yes, you can. Uh, yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I'm going to go ahead and get it a little bit more. Well, hold on, honey. All right, y'all. Let's cut this. Okay, we'll see y'all next episode, all right? All right. Mm. Wait a minute.